Hey guys, this is Claudia here from The Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for over 20 years and I have clients coming to me with all kinds of questions. And one of them is projects. Claudia, what are what is projects? Should I use projects or should I not use projects? And that's what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to go over how to set it up as well in QuickBooks Online. First of all, let's cover that first question. Should I use projects? Well, usually we recommend projects to be used for, um, on companies such as constructions, engineers, architects, and any kind of contracts that have medium to large projects. Let's say at least $10,000 or more. And you want to make sure that that project is profitable. If it is less than 10000 it may be a little bit too much trouble to, um, to run projects. But, you know, it's up to you. It's actually pretty simple to use it. So if you feel comfortable after this video, let's go ahead and get started with these projects. Okay, so first of all, you want to make sure that you have the, the right uh, QuickBooks Online signature. In order to have access to projects, you have to have at least QuickBooks Online Plus or Advanced. It's not available on Self-Employed, not available on Simple Start, and it's not available in Essentials either. So just Plus and Advanced. All right. So if you have Plus, you can open up to 40 projects, and it works like a sub-customer. So you have a customer. Projects is going to be attached to that customer, and you're going to be able to track time, uh, uh, track uh, expenses, uh, track income, and um, basically you want to make sure that you're profitable um, on that project. And that's, that's why we use projects. So to set it up, you want to go ahead and to go to company settings, go to advance, go to project. If this is, this, this is on, but if it wasn't on, you can go ahead and click on the pencil and turn it on. Once it's on, you're going to see it on the left-hand side, Projects. You're going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to open up. Uh, we already had projects before, but um, we're going to go ahead and open a new project. Okay. We're going to call it a New Supermarket. Supermarket remodeling. Okay, new supermarket remodeling, and and that's my client. Okay, I'm gonna put a few <clears throat> few details regarding anything that can. Uh, remind me of what, what that is. Uh, remodeling. Oh. Remodeling supermarket at 25th and um, First Avenue. Whatever it is. Okay. We're going to save. Now we have a project here. And in order to track everything, we're going to run our invoices, expenses, bill, payroll hours, anything that I want to track on this project inside the project. Okay, so if you are not inside the project, let's suppose you're looking at your expenses. Okay, you want to go ahead and on the left hand side, click on projects. And you're going to open up here. And by the way, right on your right hand side <clears throat> you can click on the arrow and this is where you can mark the progress you can mark it's completed cancel or delete the project to open up the project you click on the project if you have 10 10 of those projects you click on the right one and to enter an invoice right here <clears throat> you want to click on invoice not from the plus on the left hand side but from inside the project that's how you track if you enter invoice outside mm, that's not gonna work okay so i want to go ahead and add the invoice 
And you can actually and see that it automatically, when I'm inside that project, it automatically selects the customer. Okay, I'm going to call it cost of goods sold. Or I can, I can call it a payment advance. Let's see. Um, and I'm going to chart. I'm going to charge $5. I don't think so. <laughs> That's a big project. Okay. $50,000 just to get started. All right. So we're going to go ahead and save and close. And obviously, when you are in the invoice, you want to take a look at um, the, the dates and if you want to pay it within 15 days and things like that, all the terms of the Okay, so if I want to enter an expense right here from inside the project, I'm going to click on expense and I'm going to click on the payee. See, that's the payee. Um, this one is not going to be, it's going to be job supply. Okay. And you can make it billable to, to the client or not. What does it mean to make it billable? If I mark it billable here, and then I'm going to enter an invoice, this bill is going to appear so that we can attach to the invoice to the client, okay? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to charge it towards the cost of this project. $5,000, and automatically, see that? It, it selects my, uh, my project. Okay, because I'm inside the project. I'm going to go ahead and save and close. All right. So I have an expense. If I want to add more invoices, I can, or more expense. Okay, I can have tra the transactions over here. Okay. If I want to add some time activity, okay, just track. Um, my expenses, my labor expense towards this project, I can go ahead and click on track time. Okay, let's see. Claudia. Uh, okay. I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to make it billable. Like I said, you can make it billable. You don't have to make it billable. You can just Okay, enter start time. So let's see, start early, 5 a.m. And time, I'm working all day here, 4 p.m. Uh, no break. <laughs> okay, sorry, when you work for yourself, this is what you got. <laughs> no break. Okay, no break, no lunch time, no paid, nothing. No. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and um, okay. I'm gonna put a description here, uh, planning and planning and drawing for projects. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save here. And all this is going to be built towards this project, okay? Cost of 550 Okay, this is what I got so far. All right, so that's great. And I can continue ad adding to the, you know, if I want to m do multiple invoices, you can. Um, if you want to add more expenses, you can. So, you know, uh, so far this is what we got, right? You can see the list of expense or you can add more. So far, we have the invoice here. So, and we have no income because we haven't, we haven't paid that. So let's record that we paid. Okay, so it's just saying, oh, this, this invoice needs to be paid. How can I get this paid? There's several ways, okay. I'm gonna go to the transactions. 
we're going to go ahead and receive payment right from inside. Okay, so overview, you see everything that's going on here. Right now, I just have cost because I didn't record the payment from on the invoice. So I go to transaction, and I'm going to receive payment. Um, and they pay the whole thing. They're pretty good. They're pretty, pretty good, best customers. Pay right off the bat. So there it is. Save and close. So how did I pay? And by the way, I always deposit to undeposited funds. This is on my other video so that we can record the deposit, right? And matching in banking. That's the workflow, guys. <laughs> okay. Enter invoice. Record payment to undeposited funds. And then match it in banking. Same thing here. This is an invoice. We're also going to record the payment to undeposited funds. Okay. And then, remember, we need to do one more thing. We need to receive that deposit here. Look at here. Record the deposit. I deposit to the bank. And we're going to save and close. So we've got everything. We're back into the project. Look at the overview. Oh, I need to go out. Okay. Okay, now look at the overview here. Now I have income. Now I have the income for $50,000. So far, you know, it's $5,000. But I have a bill that I haven't paid yet. So I can record the payment on that bill. You can, Like I said, you can actually go to transactions here. Oh, this is paid. This is paid already. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is the cost of this project so far. So if I want to take a look at the reports to see how we're doing on this project, right here, I can view the project profitability. And look at this. It's going to have all the details. And if I had... A ton of expense. So, by the way, um, you can also categorize right from the banking. So, going going to the banking, and let's suppose that some of these cost is actually cost for this project. So, we're gonna select the pay. Okay, we're gonna call it cost of goods sold. Because this is an expense that is going straight towards. And here, look at here, customer project. I'm going to select that customer project, the new supermarket remodeling. Okay, can make it billable here too if I want to. Or if this is a, let's suppose it's an expense that half of it is for, um, is for this project and half is for another project. I can actually split right here. Whoa! <laughs> and then I can select, you know, uh, let's suppose $9. We're going to divide it out, this thing. <laughs> and cost of goods, okay, cost of goods sold as well, but this is a different project. I only have one project, so we're not going to be able to do that. But you can. If you want to, you can. You can split that. You can split that expense in as many <laughs> splits as projects as you need to. So let's suppose, you know, you bought a uh, wholesale uh, that cost you $5,000 and you have five projects. That's the cost of goods sold for five different projects. You can split and select each project separately right from banking. So that's, you know, one thing you can do. That's how you can enter those expenses as well. All right, guys, let's go back here into project. And uh, back, if you need to delete this project or complete, right, right next to option on the arrow, that's where you're going to be able to delete. But you cannot delete until everything has been uh, Let's suppose you open a project and you enter an invoice, but it didn't go through. So you can actually delete that invoice if there is no payment. You don't want any payment. The, the customer just fell through or whatever, and this project is no longer 
the case, okay? So you can do that. You can actually do that. Um, in this case, you know, we would go and delete. Um, but this, this has payment. We have payments. We have expenses, so we're not going to delete this, this project. So just, just so that you know, that's where we manage. So, okay. All right. Okay. Well, I hope this was useful. This is just an introduction to projects. So if you have any questions, um, hey, write down below. Um, please like this, this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button over there. Subscribe to our channel. I love to bring... Uh, help helpful videos that will make your bookkeeping life easier <laughs> but in order for me to continue doing those videos I need you to subscribe and like it share with your friends <laughs> and we'll continue bringing those videos well I hope you enjoy and until next time keep smiling I'll see you later